Why would there be? Well, with that Zara snapping at your heels. I don't need stabilizers, thank you. Mm -hmm. Dr. Tyler, um, Julie just rang. She needs you over at the mill pronto. What have I done now? Oh, there speaks a guilty conscience. No, I'm busy. Oh, I think Freya can manage. Yeah, of course I can. You go and see Julia. Violet Gray, after you. Come on, Dr. Tyler, chop, chop. <laughs> Soap dish, bathroom. You used to keep earrings in it, so bedroom. <laughs> no, she's still packing into an art form. Every object's colour coded or labelled. Organisation heaven. Yeah, I'm surprised you're not over there making sure that the boxes have hospital corners. No, but that's the thing. She says she won't let me. She says it'll take too long if I help. Okay, so I'm going to go round and read my meter at 1400 hours. My removal van leaves 15 minutes later. ETA your place 1500 hours, during which time I'm going to give my tenant the new key. You move out at 1430. Are you sure Zara's going to be okay with this? Yeah, trust me. I have added Mr. Brown to your house calls. Okay, thanks. I'll be along in a sec. Uh, see you on the front line. Yes. What's this? Campaign details for my move. Well, uh, that's what your phone's for, me. Just the man I'm looking for. Whatever it is, I didn't do it. Julia wants you to take a sexual health awareness stand to the student union. Oh. An important part of student health. But term's nearly over. They're all going home for Christmas. All the more reason to get out there and educate them before they let loose. Whoa, oh, hey, been on the sherry. Festivities have started early. Joke. Though you do look a bit peaky. I haven't eaten yet. I'm fine. Glad to hear it. <coughs> yes? How about we do a deal? What do you mean? If I tell Freya that Julia wants her to do this stall thing and you back me up, mm -hmm. I'll set up your phone so you can synchronise everything to the millisecond. That way nothing can go wrong. I've taught you well. Hello. Uh, I'd like to make an appointment, please. Elaine Cassidy. Today? I, I wasn't expecting... No, no, that's good. Come in. Could I have a walk? Uh, one minute. No, that's fine. I'll be there. Thank you. Sorry. Didn't mean to interrupt. It's OK. Could you give me some advice on... Um... Anger management. Someone winding you up? No, it's not for me. It's for a patient. Could could we do it later? I've got loads to do, and uh, and now I've got an appointment to go to. Sure. Yep. See you later. Good thinking, I've packed the kettle. When are you supposed to be at work? House calls. This is a house. Hmm. Can't believe how long all this packing takes. Yeah, well, if you let me help you. If I don't pack myself, I won't remember where I put it, therefore I won't be able to find it when I get to the other end. Yeah, well, no one remembers everything. Ah, if I pack a box, I remember exactly what's gone in each box. If you say so. Try me. That one. 
12 forks, 12 knives, soup spoons. That one over there? DVDs. Ah, yeah, but what DVDs? In alphabetical order, Bridget Jones, Edge of Reason, Love Actually, My Best Friend's Wedding, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, Notting Hill, Sleepless in Seattle, something about men. Yeah, OK, OK, I believe you. Maybe I should pattern you. Well, let me get on with it, otherwise we'll never get there. I can't believe how smoothly it's going. Shh! Don't jinx it. Is that it? For now, but the light bus is to be ten along in a minute. Get a coffee now then, do you want one? Oh, no, no. Uh, Julia wants you to take this over to the union and man a sexual awareness store. Or should I say woman a sexual awareness store? And you expect me to fall for that? She thought a woman's touch would be better. No, what happened is she asked you. You didn't want to do it. You know, Zara's not here today, so you thought you could shimmy it along to me. You can ask Julia if you want, but she's in a bad mood. But if you feel the need... Oh, Julia's moods are legend. Well, come on, she asked him, it's obvious. Ask Daniel if you want, he was a witness. And little boys aren't going to stick together. It makes sense that Julia would prefer a woman's touch. Yeah, I don't think she thought my jokes were very good. What's worse than lobsters on your piano? Crabs on your organ. Must be a boy's joke. Yeah, I think Julia's got a point. This is definitely not a job for little boys. Hello? What? Are you serious? Oh. It's all right, I'm a doctor. Thanks for helping. Oh. Good to see you again. I'm sorry, I haven't kept my regular appointments. Theoretically, it's a good sign. Theoretically? If clients genuinely don't feel the need to see me, that suggests they're coping. Well, exactly. Since my holiday, I felt so much better. So you said. Managing to keep off the sleeping tablet? Yes. And how are you doing at work? Really well. Good. So, I assume you're here to draw our sessions to a halt? Am I? You're off the tablets, you're coping with work. You don't need me. But... And even if none of the above was true, then the lack of honesty that would imply suggests it isn't working anyway. Right. So, either way, I don't think we should carry on. Do you? At least for a while. Sherry, when you get this from me, it's urgent. Well, goodbye then. Thanks for coming. I'll be in touch. Fine, but not too soon. Um, when therapy is finished, it's a good idea to give it time to be sure a dependency hasn't developed. But. But. Thanks. No problem. How long should I leave it? It's your call. Right.
Um, do you want something? It's it's okay. You don't have to be embarrassed. Um, if you don't want to talk to me here, you could book an appointment at the campus surgery. I, I'm a doctor. Doctor Foster. Are you okay? Do you smell something? Like what? Fox. No. I see them there sometimes playing. The cubs like biting each other. I don't think that they're likely to come in here. They have a really pungent smell. Okay, why don't we sit down for a minute? Yeah? Come on. Just take a seat. There you go. Just take Okay, okay. I'm just gonna take a look at you, all right? Yeah, that's a really good idea. We can paint the shells gold. Ah, oh, no, sorry, Mum. I don't like sugar almonds. They're predictable. Why does she want to come? I've only met her once. I'm sure she doesn't like me. Well, that's everything. Can't believe that this is actually happening. Yeah, you can come round when we've moved in properly. You'll love the garden. How about you just tell me your name? Are you a student here? Is there anyone that I can can ring for you if, you, if you've got a mic? Listen, darling, I just want to help you. I don't know how it got in, but it was moving around, chasing, chasing its tail. Okay. I really think that we need to get you to the surgery. It's okay. I'm just going to help you. <laughs> Dr. Foster went to Gloucester, stepped in a puddle right up to his middle. <laughs> all right. Let's try standing up, OK? It's all right. Come on. That's it. Come on, dear. Take it easy. Seriously, if the Drake man doesn't get back to me soon, I'm going to cancel and go somewhere else. Yeah, I know. Where's the van? It's gone. Well, we better catch them. What? We better get over there. Uh, Mum, I'll call you back. Okay, speak to you later. Bye. Come on, we're gonna catch the van. Why? They've had to postpone things. Postpone it? I don't understand. The vendors, they can't sell us a house just yet. Of course they can. We bought it. It's our house. No, we don't actually buy until we exchange the contract. But they've said we've agreed a date. The wife has been rushed into hospital. They were supposed to be moving to the US. He's not gonna move out and have nowhere to live over Christmas, so they won't exchange. I'm sorry, we're moving in January. There's nothing they can do. You jinxed it. I knew you shouldn't have said anything. His wife is seriously ill. I didn't have anything to do with that. Well, what are we going to do? All our stuff. Daniel, Daniel, stuff is going to be here soon. I better let him know. I can't believe this is actually happening. Why is everyone always on their phone? Okay, um, look, Daniel and Zara's stuff is going to be arriving here soon, so I'm going to have to stop them. You stay here, don't go anywhere. Uh, where exactly am I going to go? Look, I'm sorry, okay, we'll sort it. At least we've got a roof over our heads. <laughs> Not long now. Doing really well. Want to tell me your name? Look, at least let me take the bag for you. It's okay. What have you done? Yeah, if you could just get Heston to cover afternoon surgery, because I can't leave here until I've handed the key over to the new tenant. OK, thanks. Cheers, guys. To the second. OK, now it's officially late. Do you know her? Yeah, she's a patient. Um, can you look after her then, please? And don't let her out of your sight. Okay, oh, yeah. it's all right. Love, come on this way. I'm going here. What's going on? We need to call the police now. What's in the bag? 
You don't want to know. Um, give it to me. Hey, hey, it's okay. Pull up a note. Oh, my. You took this off Crystal. I think we need to call the police. Let's see if we can find out what happened here first. I would have thought that was obvious. It might not be. What could be clearer than a dead baby? We don't even know whose baby it is. Yeah, we do. Crystal last came in here six months ago asking for the morning after blow. I'm phoning the police. Oh, she's uh, bleeding. Would now be a good time to talk about what I was um, t talking about? You see, the thing is, when I say it was impatient... Well, Not I now, Heston. I just need to do something. Yeah, i come back later. Good idea. Dr. Granger is busy with his move and will not be back for afternoon surgery. There are patients out there that need attention. Why did he not book his afternoon off like Dr. Clay? I have booked this afternoon off so I can get my paperwork done. OK, OK. You get on with your paperwork and, Mrs. Tembe, let's see what imaginative ailments present themselves this afternoon. Crystal's such a lovely name. Crystal Henshaw. Henshaw, that's right, I remember. Uh, OK, Crystal. The bleeding has stopped. There's nothing more that we can do for you until we get you to the hospital. You called an ambulance. Yeah, it's on the screen. As you know, you delivered a baby. Crystal? Oh, well, a miscarriage, was it? No. Was it last night? Do you remember having the baby last night, Crystal? I remember my room. The smell of foxes. She keeps talking about foxes. Is she doing it? Annoying, something? annoying. Did you know you were pregnant? I couldn't make it stop. It was hurting me. Oh, so you knew you were in labour? Foxes bite. They nip and bite all the time. Nip and bite. The sooner you face up to this, the sooner we can help you. A bit harsh. We found a knife. The babies. I was following the eye, was following the eye, was following the eye, was following the eye. Following... Okay, then, little one. Um, the ambulance is on its way, and the police said they'll meet us at the hospital. It's a boy. Why did she kill him? I don't think she did. But the, the knife? Probably just to cut the cord. There are no wound marks. Post-mortem will tell us for sure, but it's most likely that this little one died because the cord got caught round his neck. But then why hide the baby? You've heard of purple psychosis. It can be triggered by a trauma. And what could be more traumatic than delivering your own dead baby? So much for... Prenatal care. Maybe she didn't know she was pregnant. She came in for the morning after, but I think she had a pretty good idea. Maybe she thought it worked, or she's been in serious denial. I mean, how do you cope with something like this? What are you doing? We're wasting time. Is there anyone we can call, a friend we can get in touch with? Friend? Was anyone with you last night, like the baby's father? Father? Oh, sweetheart, are you on your own? One minute she makes no sense at all, then the next she comes back to Earth. I, uh, um... It's a boy. I thought, thought you might want to hold him. Is this a good idea? Let me just give it a minute. I'm not going to make you do anything that you don't want to do. I just thought you might like to hold him. Him? It's a little boy. I thought... I 
thought it might help you talk about what happened last night. You, you must have been in a lot of pain. A noise. I remember the noise outside. The pain. It must have been really frightening. I could hear things in my head making my stomach hurt. There's a noise outside. People laughing. I couldn't sleep. The smell of foxes. The pain. And after the pain? After? Yeah, when it stopped hurting. Do you remember that? Do you remember what happened then? There was this thing. A tiny little cub. Hardly big enough. It didn't make sense. But I wanted to keep it. Not here. I have to take you somewhere safe. No one must take you away. I have to keep you safe. It's okay. You just hold him and say goodbye. Okay. There is absolutely nothing that you could have done. After her, did what needed doing. Yeah, but I shouldn't have judged her. Must have been a shock. She was exhibiting all the classic symptoms. And I just go and jump off the deep end again. Easily done. No, you spotted it straight away. It was easier for me. You'd been on the front line looking after a distressed woman and then finding the baby. Zara is going to roast me alive. She only needs to know the facts. That you did a good job. You are going soft. Come on, police are expecting us. I've forgotten about them. I'll drive. Oh, I'm perfectly capable of driving. You should be at your house receiving my furniture. What's going on? You have to get the key back. Wait, do <laughs> you can't let Zara's house. It's a done deal. We're shaking on it. <laughs> Would you calm down and tell me what the problem is? Stop stressing me out and tell me what's going on. We can't buy our house. My stuff is arriving at your house now. It says fallen through. You have to stay here. I can't stay here. Well, our vendor's pulled out. What? Why? This isn't real. This is not happening. Uh, 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 it's real. OK, what are we going to do about it? Okay, fine. You can stay with us for Christmas. With you. No one should be homeless at Christmas. Ah, uh, you don't know the tenant moved in. And you're the one with no house. Since when? <laughs> Since you sold us your house. <laughs> oh, we haven't actually moved out yet, so we haven't actually completed. That's splitting hairs. I'm not calling it what you want. At this moment in time, it's still my house. A man's word must count for something. So do squatters' rights. You're not serious. Possession is nine tenths of the law. I've got a pregnant girlfriend. I've got a seriously neurotic girlfriend it won't take to being homeless. Hang on a minute. So, so you're telling me that with Christmas coming and a pregnant girlfriend, there's no room at the inn? No, 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 I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that, technically, you'll be staying with us as it's the other way around. <laughs> Sometimes you are a pedantic Oh, old. Jerry, you are so dead. How am I going to tell Zara that we're spending Christmas with Pollyanna? Do you think Charlie's going to enjoy opening her presents with the Grinch peering over her shoulder? <laughs> oh, boy. At least there'll be lots of alcohol. Yeah. Zara can't drink. No, we can. Oh, dear. Cherry talks more when she's drunk. Christmas dinner's going to be tough. Zara's going to be ready to carve Cherry up by then. Maybe we should never leave them alone, ever. It's going to be hell. Yeah. You ready to face the music? Another point? Yes, please. Yeah, another point. <laughs> 
That's any doctor worth his salt will tell you the break. Mrs. Tembe! Mrs. Tembe! Oh, my goodness! Is she dead? The pulse is slow and steady. Call an ambulance. Elaine? Elaine? Elaine, can you hear me? Ambulance, please. Elaine? Simsy. Now I understand what it is that attracted Kate to the TA. We did get drunk in the mess last night. Oh, I remember those. I told everyone to wear white blouses and you're wearing red. Just think of me as a festive bauble. I enjoy discipline, but I prefer dispensing it. <laughs>